All right, so for Thursday, our final assignment, our final day of e-learning, you have another choose between two activities, but this day it's not an IXL, it's between two worksheets. One, again, is easier to do if you have a printer. The other is easier to do if you don't have a printer, or it's still doable if you don't have a printer. I'm gonna kind of break these down and show you what each worksheet is like too, so you can see which one you would rather do. All right, so the first one is going to be the one that's a little bit easier to do if you have a printer. Again, you can copy down the coordinate graph if you're willing, but it's gonna be harder to get things exact on this one than it was on the last one. So you're gonna complete that picture. It's actually where you plot the points. The second one, there's no printer required because you're just labeling the points basically in the second one. No matter which one you choose, make sure you upload it to 5 slash 14 mystery picture slash message decoding. All right, so if you choose this first one, the one where you actually have to plot points, I'm gonna go through like the first couple of examples here. It says to connect each series of points with lines to reveal a secret message. This should say only connect the dots in the same box. And I'll have it edited so you can actually read that. Okay, so basically what that means is each box is its own series of points. Once you're done with the box, make sure you've connected the lines and then move on to the next one. So I'm not gonna connect this point with this point. I'm only gonna connect this one with this one. So for example, negative 16, six will go up here. Negative 12, six would go up here. And I would connect this dot with this dot. I stop now, I stop with connecting and I move on to zero, negative four. And then I go to four, negative four. Immediately, even though we're still in the same box, I'm gonna connect those dots. I'm not gonna try to guess what it is in the end. You connect one after the other. And then I plot the next point. So four comma zero. So you have to do it in exact order or you're gonna connect it wrong even within the same box. And then I'll do one more. So it goes from here to zero, zero. And I just connect four comma zero to zero comma to zero comma zero. I don't make a box here because I feel like I want it to be a box. I just am connecting one dot at a time. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, you could skip this one and you can do the next one. Or you can message me on Etsy and I can help you. When you're done, it should be a word message, not like a picture message. So it's gonna say a bunch of words there. Okay, if you choose the second one, you're going to be doing a different kind of message decoding. So this says match each letter to the correct ordered pair to decode the message. So basically every point here is labeled with a letter and you're gonna match that letter to the correct ordered pairs. So if we look at U, U's correct letter is negative five comma five. So I'm gonna look. That's negative five comma negative five, so it doesn't go there, doesn't go there. Here's one. So you would put a U everywhere you see negative five comma five. So you're matching the ordered pair with the letter up here. And then eventually, once you match all of these letters with their correct ordered pairs, you will have a message in these boxes. That is it for today's lesson. So once you're done, you're gonna upload it here to 5 slash 14 mystery picture. So that's where you scroll on the main post to here and upload your assignment. Once you have done this entire week and you have made sure all of your assignments are in, if all of your assignments are in, you should basically have a 100% in the class unless the test didn't go super well, which will work out together. Um, once all of that is in, you are done with seventh grade math. It's over. You're going into eighth grade. Congratulations and have a great summer.